Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to embark on a new cryptic journey. The last time we saw something like this was when Bray Wyatt made his return. Now, WWE is going back to form and they are dropping these cryptic tweets. Fellas, they dropped a QR code on the screen tonight. Were y'all able to catch this QR code and did y'all see anything creeping on about this? <laughs> well, I saw it on Twitter later on. I think, Brian, you're the same, right? So they... they are really subtle with these and they've been doing it for a couple of weeks i've seen a lot of glitches like what are those supposed to mean do we have more qr codes from there i'm not sure but yeah tonight we got uh something interesting i'm not sure though you're the resident pro right now kenny yes so what we are going to do right now we are going to decipher these codes and as we get these we are going to continue to break them down so if y'all look right here you will see it kind of looks like it says wwe.com but it's not mm -hmm. in full. So if you look up here, you can see the dot. Mm -hmm. So which right here needs to come up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, just a copy of it. And I am going to take this part right here. And I am going to mask it. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm going to bring it up here and drag it over that. Now, as y'all can see, it's covering where I can't see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this twice and I am going to make it a little bit opaque. Do y'all see that? Mm, oh, here he goes. Cooking. Line it up. WWE.com slash UEDNJ5. I don't know what this is. So let's go ahead and pull up a browser and look into it. So we're going to go WWE.com slash UED. N J five one A, and it looks like we are cooking, fellas. Okay. Oh, like, the hell is this? Interesting. Looks like there's a play button underneath. Okay. Hmm. It's those glitches. Time to wake up. Take my hands. Things will be better. Oh. And that looks like a that looks like a female symbol. Do y'all know is the male and female symbols? Like um, like if y'all ever played Pokemon, the males have a certain symbol, females have a certain could, symbol. Could it be maybe Alexa Bliss and Uncle Howdy? That's the only thing that would I make think it sense. It definitely has something. Being that you know, the last time we saw this stuff, let me make sure. It's, I think it was too loud. Sorry about that, y'all. If it was. But I think the last time we saw this stuff was kind of with the Bray Wyatt's and uh, Alexa Bliss. Right. So I, it definitely has something to do with Bo Dallas or Uncle Howdy. But that female symbol kind of throws me off. I mean, it's Alexa not, it's has been... Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Finish your thought. I was going to say, it's probably a symbol that means something else that I'm just not aware of. But the only place I'm familiar with that from is Pokemon. Like this, like the little <laughs> circle with this at the bottom, that plus sign. It's normally a female, but I don't know what this is. Do you mean like in general, like that's, you know, you got the female like that and the male is like, yes. to this yeah, side usually it's yeah. like that. Yeah, the, Kenny's actually yeah, right like about that. that. I think Alexa Bliss is going to make her return. I think she's ready. Yeah, she's, she's been gone for a while. About that, uh, earlier yeah. tonight. It's Look. definitely time for her to come back. But this is going to be interesting, though, because before Bray Wyatt was kind of like the brains of the operation and he was like the guy you focus on with Uncle Howdy in the background. Do y'all think Bo Dallas can kind of carry this? Because the last I really remember Bo Dallas, Bo Dallas carrying something by itself was the Bo Leave stuff. I think he can carry more than carry because I remember him feuding alongside uh, Curtis Axel against Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt back in the day. And for one segment and one segment only, it was just like 10 seconds, they parodied the other team. So I think Curtis Axel was parodying Matt Hardy, Bo Dallas parodied Bray Wyatt. And he spoke with the same exact tone that Bray Wyatt spoke. And the way he acted was almost one-to-one -one Bray Wyatt. I was super impressed. So impressed that this was like 2017. I still remember it like it was yesterday. I think he has what it takes to pull it off, pull the character off. And with, you know, everything that happened, the unfortunate event, um, I think it's, it's going to go over well. I think people are going to like it. I think WWE believes in this. And 
not only do they believe in it, because they believe in it, I think they're going to go ahead and present this very, very strongly to make sure that this storyline doesn't suck, make sure this is the best that it can be. So I think we got some really cool stuff to look forward to. And Alexa Bliss might be a part of this, but the symbol we see, it looks like a Greek character, old ancient Greek writing maybe. I thought when I first saw it, it was like maybe something related to Egypt, but no, it's probably like old Greek writing, old symbols. Yeah. Um Alexa could definitely be involved because she's been gone for a while and yeah, perfect way for her to come back. And I hope it was the last time we saw Uncle Howdy because I didn't like him too much as the character. Yeah. I, I would hope Baldas kind of takes the fiend back, you know, like um, takes over the yeah. mask, like a superhero kind of situation, uh, continues the legacy of that character. But I don't know. What do you think, Brian? Uh, I think that the storyline is going to do well. One, mm. the crowd and the audience is going to be completely behind it just because it's honoring Bray. And I think that this is going to be something that WWE absolutely cannot miss on mm -hmm. uh, due to, you know, everything that's transpired over the past year. And I think, I really think, man, like, this is probably the most pressure WWE has probably felt in a while in terms of a storyline. Like, I'm even surprised that they're going through with this because the amount of possible uh backlash that they can get if this storyline falls through or isn't what fans right, think right. it's gonna be it's gonna be bad so i i think right now this is gonna even show me what triple h is made of i mean he's done a good job so far but i think this is really gonna be like all right i mean he did it with with the pressure he didn't have to use the bloodline to really stand out this is triple h doing his one of some of his best work so right. i'm really looking forward to this storyline and seeing how it goes but yeah i think i think bo will do just fine. Like I said, I think the audience is going to be completely behind this storyline, which absolutely helps. Yeah, but you know what? I don't know if it's up to Triple H. I think Bo has to deliver with this um, yeah. because they failed so much with the Bray Wyatt character, and I don't know if it was because of Bray Wyatt and what he wanted to do with it or WWE not letting him do what he wanted to do with it. And this, we don't have Bray Wyatt's mind. So if um, Bo Dallas is taking The Fiend as a character and trying to do the same thing Bray Wyatt did, I don't think it's going to work. I think whatever this is or this dark, creepy, menacing character is going to be, it has to come from Bo Dallas. And if he doesn't have that um, creativity in him, then it falls back on Triple H. And we saw what WWE was doing with Bray Wyatt. They just could not make it work. So eh, it's going to be tough. Even with the Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy stuff when he first came back, I was like, okay, let's pick this up. Like, where are we going? Right, yeah. Y'all trying to build something, but where are we going with this? Because it's just been in the same place for so long. They can't do that again. This has to make sense when it debuts. So I'm excited about it. Uh, Undertaker is my favorite wrestler of all time. I love Malachi Black for whatever reason. I love these dark characters. So I'm hoping this is one that works because I just feel like recently when they've been introducing the dark characters, they just haven't been hitting for whatever reason. Um, uh, y'all got anything else y'all want to add? Yeah, I'm really glad that you made that point because I agree with you. Like the Bray Wyatt stuff was not setting the world on fire at all. And I'm just thinking the big part of the reason was because of you know, Wyatt's uh, health complications where... He probably wanted to do more, but yeah. especially when he last came back. But, you know, like, what are you going to do? It's it's life. It's sometimes you don't, you get hit with something you never expected. And I think, um, I think there's more to this story uh, with Triple H at the helm too, with not Vince McMahon being on there. At the very least, I can see this character, uh, if Bo Dallas ends up returning, having some value and not losing to like Goldberg, like The Fiend did, like losing to... Seth Rollins by disqualification and Hell in a Cell. Like, they've done so many ridiculous things when the character was going to be a home run. Maybe not for you, Kenny. And honestly, I'm not too into the, you know, these supernatural characters lately, the modern ones especially. But yeah. if you book him nicely, which Triple H has the chance to do it now, it's no longer Ritz McMahon at the helm. There's potential here, and I'm interested in what's going to happen. Because it's, uh, again, completely different uh, play field now. Yeah. And Bo Dallas is only 33, so he got time to cook. So I love the Bo Dallas stuff, though. Bo leave. I loved it in NXT. So, yeah, I mean, I like if he that. can take that same energy and work this character with it, then I think he's going to do good. I I should say, I loved him in NXT in general before even the Bo leave. So he was like one of the first ever uh, NXT champions. Maybe the second one took it off, off of Seth Rollins' hand. And I think he just has that charisma, that X factor that, that you know, we're looking for. And uh, hopefully, yeah, like you guys said, he can he can go ahead and pull this off and... 
We'll see what happens. Yes, but make sure you guys smash that subscribe button because as we get these codes, we will be decoding them right here. Drop a like on the video as well. Kiss the ring, baby.